What's up guys, and the ESC vlog back here today with another video for you guys. Today, ESC are facing Salford City. Just making our way to the ground with yeah, the boys. Yeah. So, today Salford, I believe they lost the last game. It was um, Dover, it was. I think Jay Reed scored a 25 yard out, wasn't it? Yes. Dover, I think. Yeah. yeah, and the game before that, lost to Braintree. So, Two bottom, um, two bottom side teams in, in our league, and for each results, we beat Braintree to, um, two one with ten men with three injuries, possibly four, but also um, Ray Johnson <coughs> went off in um, injured. Then I believe Kevin Money was sent off. Then um, I think they took Paul McCallum off, just just in case any further injury. Then. Yates went down injured, but he carried on. But I'm not sure if he's um, he's gonna be fit. I believe he's gonna be fit for this game. But the 50-50, then Dan Holland's got injured as well. So it doesn't look good for coming to this game. But it is a massive game today. And if you beat if if you beat Salford today, we go above them. Which looking at looking at now the five games ago, you wouldn't think Salford will um, Salford can go out of the playoffs if they if you. If we win today and the scores goes um doesn't doesn't go so far ways, yeah, we're out of the playoffs for goal difference, but our goal difference is zero, I believe. So, yeah. which I think that's correct. But we have to win today. It's a massive game. We we haven't got Reed and Johnson. Neither we have Ben Williamson. Neither do have Kevin Wiley. Which two of them players are first eleven with Cav normally sits on the bench. But I think Reed Johnson will be a big mess for this team. So I don't know what he's going to play in, uh, in the back. I think he's going to back. He's going to Hairs out as well. Oh yeah, Josh Hairs out as well. I believe he picked up an injury through training this week. So this doesn't look great for us coming into this game. We've got to have faith. Yep, faith in the fans, 12th man. Hopefully we can, it can work. But even Salford, they're in poor form as well with David Beckham coming into the new ownership and I don't believe they've won since he's come in charge or not charge but came in as one of the owners so my score prediction today uh, I want to go for a 1-0 win easily uh, I'm going 1-0 mate 1-0 yeah I'm going 1-0 as well 1-0 I'll be happy with points to be honest yeah. so, no, that's good, that's I know they're on point. bad form but I'll enjoy this as well yeah. So, because I want one, I'd go for 1-0 as we need to win more, but, yeah, I'll get to other, other people's results, um, score, um, score predictions, when I get to, when I see them. The first thing I'm doing is score prediction for the whole coach, so I'll start with Liam. I'm going to go for a 3-1 Eastley win with Zabrowski, Paul McCallum and Josh Hare to score. Josh Hare, so you <laughs> Uh, 3 2 to Eastley. 3 2 Eastley? Yeah. Uh, a score prediction? 2 2 to Eastley. 2 draw. 2 2 draw. Draw, yeah. yeah? Uh, 2 1 to Eastley. 2 1 Eastley. 2 1 Eastley. Nobody's shit. I'll go 2 1 to Eastley. 2 1. A lot of 2 1s there. Oh, is it? Do you want to do a score prediction? No? Just say the score today's game. Just today's game. Just today's game. Score. Oh, okay. Yeah. 2 0 Salford. Two sorry, nil. sorry to say that. 2 0 Salford. Oh, it'll be a long walk home. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, I see, okay. Uh, yeah, I reckon 2 1 to Eastley. 2 1 Eastley. A bit optimistic, perhaps, but 1 0. Yeah, let's win 2 1. Let's go the same. I said 2 1 as well. 2 1. Yeah. But I'm. Yeah, no. I thought your last thing you did on the website was doing it anyway. Hi, I think the score will be 2 1 to Easy today. 2 1. 2 1. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say 2 1, but um, I think I'll probably go for a 1 0, uh, a Macca goal. 1 0. 1 0. Yeah, I think I'll go for 1 0 as well. 1 0 as well. If you win today, we go in playoffs. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to jump for Salford, aren't we? If, yeah. if we win today, at least. Yeah, we go. Yeah. Score prediction? I reckon it'll be 2 uh, 2. 2 2. For Brian? Yeah. Well, I predict that we're going to win this game. Win. 
It's because good. the manager promised me. <laughs> <laughs> the score. The score. Two one. Two one. Uh, that's, that's good. Good yeah, result. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two all. Two all. What do you think? Just two all. Quite a big um, draw. Two two goals in it. Quite a lot of goals. So hopefully it could happen. Bob. Uh, Bob's going to say 3-3. Three, three. Three, three. Last one did yours. It was at Bromley to 0-0. It was close. It was close. Apparently Salford has not failed to score at home in any game this season. Oh. So I can't see us not conceding, but hopefully we'll score at least as many as they do. Hopefully we can. Yeah, hopefully we can. It'll be a great result yeah, if we get a good result here. It would be. Yeah. yeah. Two one Salford. Two one Salford. Oh. Ah. Sorry, three one. If Dover can do three one weekend, yeah, and well, hopefully anyone can in this league. Yeah, That's three. right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Score. Two one Eastley. Two one Eastley. Do you see goal scores? Macado. Yeah. He is. Steve would want to do this. Salford City one, Eastley two, Mark Yates and Josh Hare with the goals. Beckham to leave five minutes before the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it will be two one to Eastley. Two one Eastley. Scorers. Um, I'm hoping that Mark Yates, Yates gets a goal today. And as Steve said, I think Josh. Josh Hare. Yeah. Yeah. Josh Hare. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Three two Salford. Three two Salford. Yeah. I'm going to go with two all. To two all. Two all to who? Both. Sunday Christmas. Nil nil. Nil nil. Yeah. No goal. Nil nil. nil, nil. Right. Martin. Two one Eastleigh. Two one. Two one. Uh, one all. One all. Three one. The last one for the coach. Oh, we're kind of one all Eastleigh. One all Eastleigh. Well done. Well done. Made it. Players are warming up. Oh, Luke Salford is warming up. It's crossing in. Look, back post, back post. That's it.
Man, they got so many def defenders on the line. It's back in stand.
Yes! Liam, is that your phone? Come on! Yes! Greener! 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 
for Drew? Is there a 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 for Drew? Ich 
CFC Play Wyoming Play Wyoming Play Wyoming Welcome back, this is the end of my vlog. Just got back from a long trip all the way from Salford. It's a long journey, wasn't it? It was, but it was 198% worth it. It was worth it, even though we were on one and a half hours sleep, mm. which was decent. Well, it's not decent, but it's yeah. good. But in the end, EC won 2 0. That's a surprising result. Uh, it's the biggest win of our season. Um, yeah, massively. Doubt. It pushes us to doubt. plus goal difference and pushes us to fifth in the league. Which, that, that is like a major in the league. Nice. It's got another guest here. Yeah, it was, it was a class win, to be fair. I wasn't expecting it. I thought, you know, it would be a draw at best at Salford. Um, obviously, I know they've been on a poor run, but I still thought they'd be a good team, but they were pretty poor in the end. Yeah, I, I thought. Uh, come, before, the game, before the game, like a week before the game, I knew we were going to win. But come to the game... I had another feeling that we were going to lose somehow, but in the end we didn't. And also, you both said 1 1, which it clearly <laughs> failed. Yeah. What did you say? I said 1 0. So we said? Yeah. It's not too bad. Not too bad yeah. So I'm not close. I'm not close enough, but in the end, Paul McCallum, two goals again, another brace, two, three in, three braces in a row. And as well, Joey Jones was one, one of the best players on the pitch today. I believe he was playing centre back, which I see. In the back, my natural position. So, as he got two assists as well, which I think he was a man match for that game too. Joey Jones. The yeah. second goal, that second goal was on play from Eastley. Yeah, I agree. He's definitely man match considering he wasn't playing his natural position. Two assists that centre back. You don't see that very often. No, you don't. But yeah, it's just class all around really. It started a bit, bit poor. Like yeah, first ten fifteen, we we had more of the ball, but we weren't really doing much with it. We had like a header cleared off the line, I think, from a corner. I think it was two of them. They had a cross that was like that someone just could have tapped in, but everybody missed it. Yeah, that was offline as well. It was, they did score, but it got just out because I've, I, what I think I saw was they covered the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper got tackled. So they yeah. absolutely classic to keep. It. Yeah, and so then we literally went down the other end and made it two now. Yeah. yeah, but Salford did have a couple of good chances, like. There's a, they had a couple of whipped in balls back post and there was no no one there to hit it in. Like normally, I don't know if Adi Rooney is not the one who normally is that position. He has scored goals this season, but he's been out for a very long time. I think he's been out for three or four weeks. So that's a very long time. But yeah, we overtook the Salford now. I think they're down to seventh. We're down to fifth. Well, we've got up to fifth, sorry. And also our next game is against Halifax at home. Your thoughts? Got to win. We should win on paper. It's one of those that you think after winning so many games that were like massive wins, we might just let it slip against Halifax. Unless, unless the home spot yet again will be mm. even better. Hopefully, it is. I don't think it'll be convincing win, but I think we'll get the job done. One nil. I'm saying one nil now. Hope actually, it might, to be honest, Ben Williamson might be back and possibly Reader Johnson. Mm. Yeah. And Cav will be back. Cav, yeah. So. Our team's coming back to like full squad, and yeah, hopefully we can win. We possibly could go um, third, no, or fourth, or fourth or third. But it depends if the results go our way. But I don't think it will. Yeah, I think um, uh, just add Salford out of quite a good game today as well. Another clean sheet, I think. Oh, well, definitely a clean sheet for him. I yeah. think that's second now, obviously. Yeah, second in the second period. We were the only team to keep a clean sheet at Salford. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So Bob, I think Bob said that earlier. It's like Salford have scored every single game. game yeah. yeah, and obviously we'll we'll, today we stopped them. But just surprisingly. Well, they did score, but got this and that. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, they had a poor game. It was like when they came to our ground, it was poor. Yeah, we were, we were so unlucky. We just didn't take our chances in that game. Not to win that. And also, let you know, Leighton Orient <coughs> has moved to a Tuesday night. But I'm not sure when, but it's a Tuesday night now. So just let your fans know if you do watch this part. 
Obviously, last long way day, you know? Yes. No. Still got five. They got five, yeah. What? Chesterfields. Oh, yeah, they've got Chesterfield next away game. Yeah. I think away game we've got next month, which is that's pretty decent. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I appreciate if you do subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. I'm getting close to that, but hopefully I can get there soon before the end of the season. My target is end of the season. And yeah, if you if, if, I appreciate if you share this video and I hope you see you next Saturday. Up the spits. Up the spits. Up the spits.